In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some cute fabric coasters out of scraps of fabric. You really can make it out of any scraps you've got. So let's get started. I'm Christine of Christine's Crafts and this channel is dedicated to crafting on a budget. What you're going to need is for each mat, you're going to need to cut out two squares of fabric, five and a half inches by five and a half inches. I've chosen two different fabrics, but you could equally well use the same for the top and the bottom. Now, whichever one you choose for the top, you're also going to need a square of fusible fleece. Um, I've cut mine five inches by five inches. Now, I've used fusible fleece because you can place it in the center. You can apply some heat and it will glue it on. If yours does not have glue, you've just got some fleece you're going to use. Tack it in place just to keep it there while you build your mat. So you're going to need two squares of fabric, one square of fusible fleece for each mat. And then we can start assembling. So attach your fusible fleece either by glue or by tacking it on. And then take a piece of fabric for your bottom of your mat and place it right side up. And then bring your other piece that has your fusible fleece attached and place that right side down. So you've now got right sides together ready to sew them together so make sure you line them up carefully and then you're either going to pin or clip those layers together and this is why you made sure your fusible fleece was attached either by glue or by tacking it on so that nothing can move around while you're working with it so work your way around just making sure you secure each edge so that you end up with nice square mats and I recommend whilst you're pinning that you mark which side you're going to leave your opening on because one side you're not going to sew all the way around you're going to leave a gap to turn your mat the right side out so I'm going to use that edge and sew around the others so then take it over to your machine start where you're going to start run a little bit do some reversing so that it doesn't come undone and when you get to each corner, you make sure the needle's down, lift the foot, turn it through 90 degrees. Now, if you turn it and you realise you're not in the right place, simply put the foot back down, do another stitch or two, and then have another go at turning. So you see, I'm just working my way all the way around. And then when you come back to the side you started, just do a little way and then back so that it doesn't unravel. And then you've left an opening to be able to turn your mat the right side out. The next thing to do is to clip your corners. This is to get rid of some of the bulk so you get a nice tidy mat. Just make sure you don't snip any stitches. You're just cutting away some excess fabric. And if you'd like to, you can do the same on the sides. Now I've used about quarter to half an inch, probably three eighths of an inch seam allowance. So I'm just cutting some of that excess off. You don't have to, it's up to you. And then it's time to turn your mat through. So simply turn it through with your fingers and get it so most of it's through. And then I recommend using something similar to a chopstick to poke into the corners. You don't want it too sharp because you don't want to cut three stitches, but you need something just to get those corners out properly. And then I recommend pressing your mat, making sure that open edge, the edges are pressed in. So as you can see, I've pressed mine. Then either pin or clip that shut, just to keep it in place, and top stitch around the entire mat. You can do whatever distance you like, but I re recommend about an eighth of an inch from the edge. You can do that with an ordinary stitch like me, or you can use a fancy stitch on your sewing machine. You could also go round again further in as many times as you like. This is your project. Just repeat for every single one. And that's how you can make an entire set of fabric coasters out of scraps in only a few minutes. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up below and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.